All right. Welcome. So, trying this out on a new camera. So, hopefully, this uh, picture is good. Uh, so, this is the next update I've got on the rebuild of the engine here. Uh, you know what? One second. I think I'm supposed to do. I think the autofocus work is, works very good on this thing. So, anyway. Let's see. There we go. It's hard to see on this little camera. Um, anyway, so a uh, quick update obviously so past the halfway point now got everything out and off Which was a pain You know, uh, but we finally got there um, Got the parts cleaned pressure washed them all today. That's why we'll see a lot of Nasty surface rust on that thing, but it was three hours ago when I did it So I'm not worried about it. I'm just gonna hit it uh, with some cleaner real quick uh put a light coat of oil everywhere so that it doesn't get any surface rust and then slap it on and start going so um, one thing I did see somewhere was that somebody said hey you gotta have a special engine stand to hold this thing no I got a regular cheapo AC Delco that I've had for years and it works just fine so uh, the only thing is I had to it's in a real weird configuration you can see right here just because there's no, nothing to bolt to um, I had it, <laughs> unfortunately, on the uh, bed plate. You know, I didn't know any different at the time. But in this configuration, I'd be a little nervous with all the heads and everything else on it. Because, I mean, it's pretty bouncy. You know, it's 1,000 pounds or whatever these things weigh. So, all right. So, got the rocker carrier, uh, upper oil pan, front cover, lower oil pan, lower crankcase, um, whatever that holds the main bearings in, the crankshaft pressure wash today, cleaned, ready to go back on. So I want to put the bottom half in today. Um, I did also buy the uh, tools from Freedom, Freedom Racing for the install of the rear main and the front cover, crank, seal, whatever. Uh, unfortunately, there's no other way to get those on, and I, you know, I've seen people go, hey, you can hit it in with a board if it's straight, and you know what? If I'm going this far into this truck, I'm not doing it again. So I've got those parts, or those tools. I'll probably end up uh, doing a loaner program since I won't need them after this. Um, you know, we'll we'll just we'll see what the details of that are. But anyways, another thing that came in today, I actually posted a question about it on the forums, was reusing the the main bolts. Um, I wasn't sure if that was something you could do. Um, you know, it, in the book, it doesn't say you need new ones like it does on the uh, balancer or damper um, bolts or the head bolts. So I think you can reuse them, but I found at CPP Diesel or whatever that stands for, they had these for 300 bucks, the whole kit. So I was like, well, I'll just go ahead and buy it. And uh, they showed up in like less than a day. I ordered this Sunday night, I think. And today's Tuesday, uh, April 12th. And they already showed up. So I was like, well, all right, that's that's cool. So um, got those installed. Uh, the longer ones go in the center. Shorter ones go to the outside of the uh, engine. So, but you'll read that in the book. Definitely want to get the book and make sure you do this right. So that's where we're at. So I'm going to start reassembly. Uh, like I said, going to finish finish this up um, you know using a, a host of different resources online but uh, definitely you know cleaning the, the whole surface with this which actually a razor blade which the surface was not bad at all but I'm doing it everywhere just to make sure I get a real good seal I don't want any more oil leaks but you can kind of see the uh, or can you the surface rust so yeah no big deal though I already wiped down most of it uh, when I first got it back in the garage after I pressure washed it, but I didn't get inside there. I wasn't too worried about it. So, but I will clean it real quick, add a little thin layer of oil so it doesn't do that, and away we'll go. So, anyways, I think that's the update. So everything's torn apart. Now we're starting to put it back together. So we'll take a look at these parts and see how pretty they are. I'll also take some pictures and stuff, but you can, you can see. Oh, that's the clean side of that, isn't it? This thing was basically black, um, and it didn't get it all, uh, but it looks a lot, lot better in the rocker carrier whatever's 
um, those look really good. I'm not going to pressure wash the heads just because they're iron <laughs> and they turn to a solid bucket of rust before I could even get them in back in the garage. So anyway, um, that's where we're at. So I'm going to start reassembly. Have another update here in a little while. See ya.